Under the topic Nonlinear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under Standard Type 3. Here we have problem 7. Solve P plus Q is equal to sin X plus sin Y. We see that Z is not present in this given equation. If Z is not present, then the given equation is of the standard form f1 of x comma p is equal to f2 of y comma q. So in that case, we have to gather the x and p p on one side and y and q on the other side. So if you see, we have sin x over here. We will take it to the ref left of the equation and so it becomes p minus sin x is equal to sin y on the, which is already there on the right and this q which is on the left we will take it to the right. So it becomes minus q. So p minus sin x is equal to sin y minus q and this will be equal to a general constant a. So now each of the terms has to be equated to a. So first we will have p minus sin x to be equal to a from which we obtain the value of p to be equal to a plus sin x. And next we have sin y okay this term sin y minus q to be equal to a from which we obtain the value of q to be equal to sin y minus a so now we have to substitute the value of p and q in the equation dz is equal to p dx plus q dy so therefore dz will be equal to what is p it is a plus sin x so a plus sin x dx plus q what is q q is sin y minus a dy so now we have to integrate on both the sides so when we integrate on both the sides integral dz is z which is equal to now a has to be integrated with respect to x. So it, is, it will become ax plus sin x dx. Sin x on integration gives us minus cos x and then plus. Now integration of sin y dy. Sin y on integration gives us minus cos y minus a dy. So a the integration of dy is y plus a constant of integration which can be taken as b. Now, so therefore, z is equal to, now if you see, we can gather the terms that is ax and minus ay. In this, we can take a common and so we will have x minus y. And then, in these two terms, we have negative sign in common. So, we can take it out and it can be written as cos x plus cos y plus the constant of integration b. So therefore, this is the solution for the given non-linear partial differential equation. So z equal to a multiplied with x minus y minus of cos x plus cos y plus b. So hope you have understood this problem. Now we will solve problem number 8. So here we have problem 8 which is solve pq is equal to xy. We, we see that only x, y, p and q are present and z is not present. So in this case, the given equation is of the form f1 of x comma p is equal to f2 of y comma q. So in this, we have to gather all the x and p terms on one side and y and q terms on the other side. So bringing this x to the left, we will be having p by x is equal to taking this q to the right, we will be having y by q. So this has to be equated to a constant a. Now from this, we have p by x to be equal to a from which we obtain the value of p to be equal to ax. And from the second one, we have y by q to be equal to a from which we get the value of q to be y divided by a. So we have obtained the value of p and q. Now we have to substitute it in the equation dz is equal to p dx plus q dy. So from this dz will be equal to p is ax. So ax dx plus q is y by a dy. So q is y by a and this dy comes here. 
now we have to integrate on both the sides so on integration integral d z becomes z which is equal to a is a constant and integral x dx becomes x squared divided by 2 plus 1 by a is a constant which can be taken out and integral y dy becomes y squared divided by 2 plus a constant of integration b. So this can also be written as 2z is equal to a x squared plus y squared divided by a plus it will be 2b. Anyway, it's going to be another constant which can be in general written as b itself. So either you can have this as the answer or you can also simplify it in this way. So this is the required answer. We shall now solve problem 9. That is to solve 2yp squared is equal to 2. I already told you if z is not present, it is of the form f1 of x comma p equal to f2 of y comma q. Now if we observe here, we have p, q and y. We don't have x but still it comes under this type only. So I have already told you that if we have p, q, x and y or if you have p, q and x or if you have p, q and y, we have to use type 3 uh, standard form in order to solve it. That is, we have to gather all the x, p terms to the left and all the y, q terms to the right and then proceed it. So now if you see, we, uh, we can, if we gather the x terms to the left, we do not have x, but we have p over here. So we can have p on the left. So p squared will be equal to, taking this 2y to the right, we will have q by 2y. And this can be equated to a constant a. From this, we have p squared to be equal to a. And what will be the value of p? It will be equal to plus or minus square root of a. So this is the value of p. And what will be the other one? q by 2y is equal to a. So from this, the value of q is equal to 2ay. Now we shall take this value of p and q and substitute in dz which is equal to p dx plus q dy. So on substituting the value of p and q, what we get is dz is equal to plus or minus square root of a dx plus 2ay dy. Now we shall integrate on both the sides. So integral dz will become z is equal to plus or minus square root of a is a constant. Integral dA, dx will be x plus 2a is a constant. Integral y dy that will become y squared divided by 2 plus a constant of integration b. And 2 and 2 gets cancelled and so the value of z will be equal to plus or minus square root of a x plus a y square plus b. So this is the solution. So hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.